50 Interview Questions About Tablet Production in the Pharmaceutical Industry Section 1, General Concepts Question number 1. What is tablet manufacturing? Answer. Tablet manufacturing is the process of making solid forms of medication called tablets. This involves compressing a mixture of active ingredients and excipients. Tablets are designed to deliver medicine effectively. Question number two. What are excipients in tablet production? Answer. Excipients are inactive ingredients added to tablets to help with their structure and stability. They can assist in binding the tablet or improving its flow. They are essential for making tablets easier to produce and consume. Question number three. What are the main stages of tablet production? Answer. The main stages include weighing and mixing the ingredients, forming granules, compressing the mixture into tablets, and applying any coatings. Each step is crucial to ensure the final product is effective and safe. Proper execution of these stages leads to high-quality tablets. Question number four. What is granulation? Answer. Granulation is a process that turns powder into granules, making it easier to form tablets. This step helps improve the flow and compression of the powder mix. It's important for ensuring uniform tablet size and weight. Question number five. What is the purpose of tablet coating? Answer. Tablet coating protects the tablet and can control how the medicine is released in the body. It can also improve the tablet's appearance and make it taste better. Coatings help ensure the medication works effectively after ingestion. Question number six. What are the types of tablet coating? Answer. Common types of tablet coating include sugar coating, which adds sweetness, film coating, which gives a thin protective layer, and enteric coating, which protects the tablet from stomach acid. Each type serves different purposes in terms of protection and delivery. The choice of coating depends on the medication's needs. Question number seven. Why is tablet hardness important? Answer. Tablet hardness is important because it affects how well a tablet withstands handling and transportation. A harder tablet is less likely to break or crumble. However, it must also dissolve at the right rate in the body for effective treatment. Question number eight. What is dissolution testing? Answer. Dissolution testing measures how quickly and completely a tablet dissolves in liquid. This helps ensure the medication will be effective when taken. It's a key part of quality control in tablet production. Question number nine. What is disintegration in tablets? Answer. Disintegration is the process by which a tablet breaks down into smaller pieces after ingestion. This is essential for allowing the drug to be absorbed in the body. A tablet that disintegrates properly ensures the medication can work as intended. Question number 10. What role does quality control play in tablet production? Answer. Quality control ensures that every tablet meets safety and effectiveness standards. This involves checking the ingredients, production processes, and final products. It is crucial for maintaining consumer trust and regulatory compliance. Section 2, Equipment and Machinery. Question number 11. What is a tablet press? Answer. A tablet press is a machine that compresses powder into tablets. It can be manual or automated, depending on production needs. This equipment is vital for creating uniform tablets efficiently. Question number 12. What is the role of a granulator in tablet production? Answer. A granulator forms granules from powder, making it easier to compress into tablets. This step improves the powder's flow and compaction. It is essential for achieving consistent tablet quality. Question number 13. What is fluid bed granulation? Answer. Fluid bed granulation involves suspending powder in air and spraying it with a liquid binder to form granules. This method enhances the uniformity of the granules. It is often used for high-quality tablet production. Question number 14. What is a compression force in tablet production? Answer. Compression force is the pressure applied to the powder during tablet formation. It is crucial for achieving the desired tablet hardness and density. Adjusting this force affects the tablet's final quality. Question number 15. What is a rotary tablet press? Answer. A rotary tablet press is a high-speed machine that produces many tablets at once using rotating turrets. This equipment is efficient and suitable for large-scale production. It helps ensure consistent tablet size and weight. Question number 16. What does a coating pan do in tablet production? Answer. A coating pan applies coatings to tablets by rotating them while spraying a coating solution. This helps create a uniform layer on each tablet. 
It is an essential step for improving tablet appearance and protection. Question number 17. What is a tablet deduster? Answer. A tablet deduster removes excess powder from tablets after they are compressed. This ensures a clean and polished final product. It helps improve the appearance and quality of the tablets. Question number 18. How is tablet thickness controlled? Answer. Tablet thickness is controlled by adjusting the compression force during tablet pressing. Operators can fine-tune this setting to achieve the desired thickness. Consistent thickness is important for product uniformity. Question number 19. What is the purpose of a hardness tester? Answer. A hardness tester measures how much force is needed to break a tablet. This helps ensure that tablets are strong enough for handling but will still dissolve properly. It is a key quality control tool. Question number 20. What is a disintegration tester used for? Answer. A disintegration tester measures how quickly tablets break apart in liquid. This simulates the conditions in the digestive system. It ensures the tablets will release their active ingredients effectively. Section 3, Formulation and Ingredients. Question number 21. What is the active pharmaceutical ingredient, API? Answer. The API is the main substance in a tablet that provides the therapeutic effect. It is the component that treats or prevents a specific medical condition. Ensuring the correct amount of API is critical for effectiveness. Question number 22. What is direct compression in tablet production? Answer. Direct compression is a method where powders are directly compressed into tablets without granulation. This technique is faster and simpler but requires powders with good flow properties. It's used when the ingredients allow for it. Question number 23. What is wet granulation? Answer. Wet granulation involves adding a liquid binder to powder to form granules before compression. This process improves the binding and flow of the material. It is commonly used for powders that do not compress well. Question number 24. What is dry granulation? Answer. Dry granulation is a method of making granules without using liquid. Instead, powders are compacted into larger pieces and then broken down. This technique is useful for heat-sensitive ingredients. Question number 25. What are binders in tablet production? Answer. Binders are ingredients that help hold the tablet together. They improve the adhesion of powder particles during compression. Using the right binder ensures tablet integrity and strength. Question number 26. What are disintegrants in tablet production? Answer. Disintegrants are ingredients that help tablets break down once ingested. They allow the tablet to dissolve quickly in the digestive tract. This is essential for ensuring the medication is absorbed effectively. Question number 27. What are lubricants used for in tablet production? Answer. Lubricants prevent the tablet mixture from sticking to the machinery during production. They also help tablets eject smoothly from the press. Proper lubrication is crucial for maintaining production efficiency. Question number 28. Why are diluents used in tablets? Answer. Diluents are inactive fillers used to increase the tablet size when the active ingredient is too small. They ensure that tablets are large enough to handle and swallow. Diluents are essential for proper tablet formulation. Question number 29. What are glidants in tablet production? Answer. Glidants improve the flow of powder during the tablet making process. They reduce friction between particles, helping the powder move smoothly through machines. This enhances the efficiency of production. Question number 30. What is the role of a surfactant in tablet formulation? Answer. Surfactants help improve the wetting of the tablet, making it dissolve more easily in liquid. They help ensure that the medication is released effectively. Surfactants are important for achieving proper absorption in the body. Section 4. Specific Production Issues. Question number 31. What causes tablet capping? Answer. Tablet capping occurs when the top or bottom layer of a tablet separates after compression. This can happen due to trapped air or improper compression techniques. It can lead to inconsistent tablet quality. Question number 32. What causes tablet lamination? Answer. Lamination happens when a tablet splits into layers instead of staying solid. This can be caused by excessive compression or poor granulation. It negatively impacts the tablet's effectiveness and appearance. Question number 33. What is picking in tablet production? Answer. Picking occurs when small parts of the tablet stick to the punch during compression. This can be due to insufficient lubrication or incorrect formulation. 
It affects the tablet surface and overall quality. Question number 34. What is sticking in tablet production? Answer. Sticking happens when the tablet mixture adheres to the machine tooling. This can cause defects in the tablet surface. Improving lubrication and formulation can help prevent this issue. Question number 35. How do you prevent tablet sticking? Answer. To prevent sticking, manufacturers can adjust the formulation and increase lubrication. Ensuring proper equipment maintenance also helps. These steps are crucial for maintaining tablet quality during production. Question number 36. What causes variation in tablet weight? Answer. Weight variation can result from inconsistent powder flow or improper filling of the tablet die. It may also be caused by worn-out machinery. Maintaining consistency in production processes is key to preventing this issue. Question number 37. What is friability in tablet production? Answer. Friability refers to how easily a tablet can break or crumble. It is tested to ensure tablets can withstand handling and packaging. Tablets should be strong enough to resist damage during transport. Question number 38. How is tablet friability measured? Answer. Tablet friability is measured using a friabulator, which tumbles the tablets to see how much weight they lose from breaking. This helps assess the tablet's durability. A low friability rate indicates good tablet strength. Question number 39. What is tablet segregation? Answer. Segregation occurs when different ingredients in the powder mix separate during processing. This can lead to uneven distribution of the active ingredient in the final tablet. Preventing segregation is crucial for consistent tablet quality. Question number 40. What is a blend uniformity test? Answer. Blend uniformity testing ensures that the active ingredient is evenly distributed throughout the powder mixed before compression. This test is essential for achieving consistent dosing in each tablet. It helps prevent variations in medication strength. Section 5, Regulatory and Safety. Question number 41. What is GMP in pharmaceutical manufacturing? Answer. GMP stands for Good Manufacturing Practices, which are regulations ensuring products are consistently produced to quality standards. These practices help minimize risks and ensure patient safety. Compliance with GMP is essential for all pharmaceutical companies. Question number 42. Why is process validation important in tablet production? Answer. Process validation confirms that the manufacturing process consistently produces a high-quality product. It ensures that tablets meet required specifications for safety and efficacy. This step is crucial for regulatory approval and consumer trust. Question number 43. What is tablet batch record documentation? Answer. Batch records document every step of the manufacturing process for a specific batch of tablets. This includes ingredient details, production conditions, and quality checks. Keeping accurate records is essential for traceability and compliance. Question number 44. What is an OS result in quality control? Answer. OS stands for out of specification, which means a batch of tablets did not meet the required quality standards. This requires an investigation to identify and correct the issue. Addressing OS results is critical for maintaining product quality. Question number 45. What is a clean room in pharmaceutical production? Answer. A clean room is a controlled environment designed to minimize contamination during manufacturing. Strict regulations govern air quality, temperature, and humidity in clean rooms. This ensures that tablets are produced safely and effectively. Question number 46. What are the key safety protocols in tablet production? Answer. Key safety protocols include using personal protective equipment, PPE, and following proper cleaning procedures. Staff must also handle raw materials carefully to avoid contamination. These protocols help ensure a safe working environment. Question number 47. What is the role of a quality assurance, QA, team in tablet production? Answer. The QA team ensures that each batch of tablets meets regulatory standards and is safe for consumers. They oversee the entire production process, from ingredient selection to final testing. Their work is essential for maintaining product quality. Question number 48. What is continuous manufacturing in tablet production? Answer. Continuous manufacturing is a method where tablet production happens continuously rather than in separate batches. This approach can improve efficiency and reduce production time. 
It allows for real-time adjustments and better quality control. Question number 49. How does the FDA regulate tablet production? Answer. The FDA regulates tablet production by enforcing GMP and conducting inspections of manufacturing facilities. They ensure that tablets are safe, effective, and of high quality. Compliance with FDA regulations is essential for pharmaceutical companies. Question number 50. What is PAT, Process Analytical Technology, in tablet manufacturing? Answer. PAT is a system used to design, analyze, and control the manufacturing process through real-time data. It helps ensure quality is maintained throughout production. Using PAT can lead to more efficient and consistent tablet manufacturing. Thank you for watching this video on PharmaTox. We hope you found the content valuable and insightful, especially if you're passionate about pharmaceutical production and the science behind it. At PharmaTox, our goal is to provide clear, informative, and up-to-date discussions on everything related to the pharma industry, from tablet manufacturing to the latest industry innovations. If you enjoyed this video and want to stay informed about new developments in pharmaceutical technology, regulations, and production processes, we invite you to subscribe to our channel. By subscribing, you'll be the first to know when we release new videos packed with expert insights, interviews, and detailed breakdowns of complex topics made easy. Join our community of professionals, students, and enthusiasts who are eager to expand their knowledge of the pharmaceutical world. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you never miss an update. Feel free to leave a comment or question below. We'd love to hear your thoughts and continue the conversation. Thanks again for watching, and we look forward to seeing you in our next video. Subscribe to PharmaTalks today.